is outdoors. We're out in the summer house, got the little stove on. It's wet, it's cold. A couple of days after Christmas, um, I've been putting up little sort of reviews and onto the channel. So thanks again for tuning in. So we're not we're not in a well camp. These are little kind of review videos. So um, and as you've seen by the title, we're we're exploring the the titanium um, bush box. by Bushcraft Essentials. We'll have a little look at the stove, we'll talk through some of the specs, most of them are on the box. Um, this is the top of the range, it's titanium. So big shout out to, to Zach and Ruby for the Christmas present, appreciate that. It will be getting well used, trust me. Um, I'll talk you through some of the specs and then we'll have a little look at the, at the stove. So it's made in Germany, we know that. Um, it packs really small, so it comes in this kind of um, quite heavy cotton um, sleeve that's got a little pouch at the front for grill plates. Um, obviously it's wood or you can put a little um, sort of triangle stove um, burner in it. Um, multi-fuel as I said, so you can use the triangle, you can use wood. Um, focuses the heat, so again the way that it's designed on a kind of upward sort of, um, once the titanium gets really hot it should convect the, the heat um, up nicely. There's a bit of a natural windshield in, in the, the, the this construction of the, the stove. Um, and because it's made of titanium, it's under 500 grams. This is 400, 490 grams. Um, and that was really one of my kind of sort of main um, points of um, moving from a little Chinese stove. A, it, this is super thin. Um, and as, as I said, it's 490 grams. So I'll, I'll need to get a measurement of my Chinese stove. Um, it comes with two... Um, little top top plates and most of you will be familiar with the construction it's, it's hinged and it folds out on itself and then the two inner plates pretty well um, fold down so you've got the kind of uh, the, the solid base folds down first followed by the the grate. Um, I'm trying not to get my fingerprints on it too much because um, it does, the titanium can get marked by the oils off here but realistically it's going to get so well used I'm not, I'm not overly concerned. And then the, the bottom plate just fits off. Um, it's got a lot of natural air vintage um, around the side these are that those hold the clips but again there's vent there um, and then with these you can either use them to slot through to hold the, the paraffin burner one on each side like that um, which will be good you, you pop your stove just in there um, which is handy. These also go on the top um, like so just to for your, your pot stand. Let's see, just suss out there's a couple of cuts on them. That's it. Use like that. Um, but you can also have it slightly raised up, which is nice as well. It's going kind to of off the off the surface like that, which is a slightly raised up one. And then you can also use these to, I think, to to pick it up. I'll need to kind of suss that out a little bit. Um, so really simple lightweight 
feels feels bulletproof um, in its design. They've obviously been around for a long time. Um, well used, well reviewed on YouTube, folks like this, and because um, Ruby, my eldest, got me this with her, with her point, I got a leather leather pouch, and you have to buy these separate. So this is your this is your sort of standard one that goes on the top. Um, quickly show you them. So it, it goes, let's see, yeah, it must be, that's it, yeah, that's nice, it really kind of adds, adds a good bit of tension to that, that goes off the top like that, um, I'm not sure about making toast on it, I like my other one, um, which is much more of a kind of grate for making toast on and then this, yeah, again, that just clips in. Yeah. So it should pretty well kind of immobilise. Yeah. Like that. And then this, this one is bigger for maybe a... a a bigger steak or if you're maybe cooking a pepper or an onion, a couple of sausages. So this is a bit bigger than your standard top plate. Is it twice the size? Not quite. Um, these are stainless, so these are heavier. So, um, and then again, the idea of getting the leather pouch is that these, these go in there along with the, the stove. So it's all kept nicely together. Nice. How nice is that? It just look, you know, and that, that's gonna last forever. Literally, I mean, really nice leather. I don't know where they got it, it was all a gift. So, oh, that's, it's so nice with the leather, um, the leather pouch, just to kind of keep it all clean, keep it, keep all the mess in there, keep it in your rucksack. It's pretty small, it's pretty lightweight. Um, and then, this, this is good as well, don't, don't get me wrong, but because it was Christmas, I thought, I'm just going to get the, the leather pouch as well. So, yeah, it's lightweight, it's durable, it's made in Germany, um, it's small, it's compact. I like the, the shape and the design and the style. Um, we're going to get, I'm going to get out, I don't know about getting a wild camp over the holidays, we've got a few things planned. Had a really nice Christmas, by the way, so happy Christmas to, to everyone, happy new year when it comes. Um, we'll definitely get this out. Hopefully going to get a, a bit of a tent camp um, at some point as well. It's been really wet and cold here, quite miserable, so nice to get this stove on and I'm just doing some reading with, reading with the dog. So thank you again, that's it really, just a very, very short little run through the, the, the Bush Box, um, Bush Box XL Titanium um, by Bushcraft Essentials. Everyone's got them. Um, probably, probably the most popular um, stove, wood stove. So again, it gets it off the ground. I mean, you've seen my Chinese one, so I'll, I'll probably end up doing a bit of a comparison between the the, the, the really budget Chinese um, stove and the bush box, which is the the other um, extreme, um, just to see how they burn, the weight of them. This is definitely going to be a bit lighter. A little bit more compact, probably more durable. This, this I think, it should it should last for forever. So this is the sort of thing that I would like to be able to hand down to the grandkids, etc. So, 
So listen, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you again for tuning in. Very quick little 10 minute look at the bush box XL with the leather pouch and a couple of extra grills that you need to buy as extra. Take care, we'll catch you the next time.